Conservative MP Peter Bone has rushed to defend Boris Johnson as he highlighted the distinct difference between the no-confidence vote in comparison to previous Tory Prime Ministers. Peter Bone has rushed to defend the Prime Minister as he argued only the electorate should have the power to remove Boris Johnson from leadership. The Tory MP praised the majority support sustained by the Prime Minister in the Monday evening vote of no confidence. He added that the results of the vote should not be compared to the no confidence votes faced by historic Conservative leaders as there is a distinct difference in the victory of Mr Johnson. Speaking to GB News, Mr Bone said, I thought there was a convincing win by the Prime Minister last night. He continued, it seemed to me, the only comparable thing is Thatcher when I wasn't an MP when she resigned after winning a vote, and the Conservative Party suffered for the next 30 years because of that. Since Ms Thatcher, the only convincing win in a general election has been by Boris Johnson. So. The only people that should remove him and the Conservatives is the electorate in a general election. I'm pleased that the majority, well a significant majority, of my colleagues agreed with that view last night. Tom Harwood, the political correspondent for GB News, explained Mr Johnson had secured victory in the no-confidence vote by an 18% margin. He added that the Prime Minister had managed a larger margin than Margaret Thatcher for sure. Mr Harwood continued, certainly. He seems to have the support of his cabinet but it is undeniable that he won by a lesser margin than Theresa May did in 2018. Mr Bone replied, in 2018 it's a different situation, of course. The Tory MP continued, Ms May led us into a general election where we'd gone backwards against Labour and Jeremy Corbyn. There had been a national referendum on Brexit and we'd voted for Brexit, but the Prime Minister, Ms May, was not introducing Brexit, she was introducing Brexit in name only. She didn't actually resign, of course, over the vote, she resigned later on in her premiership when she couldn't get her Brexit in name only through Parliament, that's what did her in because she wasn't respecting the views expressed by the people at a referendum. I think there is a distinct difference between what happened last night and Theresa May's vote. Mr Johnson was able to secure his leadership with 211 votes of support against 148 oppositions. His supporters, Mr Bone among them, have celebrated the result and have urged the political focus to shift towards policy concerns beyond the party gate activities of Boris Johnson. While opposition forces have highlighted the considerably large number of opposition votes, Conservative MPs aligned under Mr Johnson have requested for the issue to be put to bed. Following the vote, a statement issued by Downing Street read, Prime Minister Boris Johnson will bring together his cabinet today and pledge to continue delivering on what matters to the British people.